Good day, my wonderful people. It's me again. The great, great, great countryman. Thank you, thank you. No applause. Yo, give big shout out to all my supporters and subscribers. Silent. Big up yourself. Every time. Yo, I wonder what's in the water in Montego Bay. I've been doing some research and I was flabbergasted at how much gangster is in Montego Bay. Look at the screen in front of you. You have the Utah, the Lana, Perke, Wilmot. You know, he was cut down by the security force not too long ago in Montego Bay. He's on for his elusive hiding out and very tactical. But this guy was cut down in the bushes. His reign of terror. was cut out by the police then in a mobile yard. This guy is a very dangerous man. Very, very dangerous. As you know, he had ambushed three police officers and shoot them. And even when they took him out, he didn't just go down easy. You understand? He went down with a fight. This is Montego Bay, number one youngster. Now, taking a look at this youngster's paradise, as a matter of fact, I'm going to call it Youngster Bay. It's no more Mobile. One thing I notice. Most of these guys die young. Very, very young. Anywhere from the age of 17 to like 30. And they have been cut down in some of the most vicious way by the security force, which a lot of these youngsters do some vicious killing. So, what I am going to do in this video, and I want you to follow the equation, I'm going to show you Montego Bay's, let me correct myself, Gangsta Bay, most ter terrible wanted men that got cut down since the 1990s. And, yo, it's going to raise the hair at the back of your neck. Okay? Just look at the ears. So, I want you guys to follow me with this one. Now, we're going to do a roll call of all of the youngsters them from 1982 to 2020. Okay? So, number one, in 1982, you have Patrick Swank Stephen, he was the most wanted when he was implicated in the shooting death of a policeman named Paul Shaw. After a brief two-month reign, he was killed in confrontation with the police. The next one is Owen Jagaru Graham, who was renowned for his trademark military fatigues and his M16 rifle. He was a feared hitman across Western Jamaica. His reign ended in 1986 in a shootout with the police. The third one, 1987, Owen Pugan Pearson was led on a notorious, let me correct that, he led the notorious Somerton gang. 
the odd St. James on the siege, robbing, killing with impunity. The man the man afflicts like pirate. He was killed in a gunfight with police in Falmouth, Trelawney. Yo, you see how dangerous Montego Bay is? No, this is from 1982, 86, and 87. We're going to move on. As we move on, now, in front of you, 1992, we have Fitzroy, the General Smart. <laughs> I wonder if I leave I smart, brother. <laughs> Look, he was a notorious robber, specialized in targeting guest house in upscale community. He was killed in an early morning gunfight with police in Unity Hall. The gun was seized and traced back to a St. James member of parliament. Now, you see the corruption? That's Jamaica, 1992. We are caught down from 1982, you know. Now, the next one, 1994. Len Roy, Len Bircher, who led the notorious Flower Hill Gang. You remember that gang there? He was St. James most wanted after being linked to a spate of murders. He was killing a gunfight in Salt Spring at a hideout. Somebody game where you understand? You can get tired of him. I saw the thing work. You see, when you're a bad man, you have to know how for bad. When you're too bad, you want that people then give away. I got them to them all the time. Now, the next one, 1995. Aicha Dred Lawrence. He's from Flankers. He had Flankers under siege for many months. Committed murder, shooting. Especially one that seriously injured a policeman, Everton Grant. He was killed in one of his many clashes with police. So you see how the man they might take on the police then. Yo, gangster beer. Now, 
I want to the follow the equation. Look at that one yeah. Now, 2002. All three of these guys was in 2002. Yo, 2002 seemed like it was a record year in, in, a, in a gangster beer. Because I think this was when they kept the scamming and them things that start popping, you know. So check this out. 2002, Anzu, Zaga, Melish, who the police said it eliminated several other gangsters and become one of St. James' most wanted. He was cornered and killed in Fairfield on the outskirts of Gangsta Beer. Now, see in 2002, you have Frank. Bruno Stone, who led a murderous rampage in Rosites and was feared across the parish, was killed in a gunfight with top cop Clive Karate George Lawrence, who was shot and wounded in, in the incident. You remember this cop, Karate George, he used to dress like woman, put on woman clothes and go and catch these guys when they were doing the team. Now, we're going to move on to the last one. Carly Matalan Williams led the notorious Toyota Gang, which is renowned for daring robberies and cold-blooded murders. Shortly, he was implicated in the murder of a police inspector, Rupert Gardner. He too perished in a shootout that year. Wow. Yo, Jamaica is like... It's like a movie. It's like you're reading these things and it's like a fictional uh, character. You understand? We're going to move on. There's so much of them. Now, as we move on, the most deadly gangster then in a gangster day, deadly roll card. Check this out. 2004, you have Eric Sandokan Brown, formerly from Canterbury. He was listed on the FBI most wanted in the United States for several murders, was killed by a local police in a shootout in Liverpool St. James. <laughs> Blow up. Yo, the next one, 2005, reach on Michael Grandstand. As a matter of fact, Michael Banana Grandstand who engaged the police in several shootouts during his murderous reign in which he killed an elderly ex-policeman in cold blood was cut down in a gun battle with the police then in York Bush here after Parish Yo, I'm reading these things and it's, I still can't believe it. It's like a movie. Yo, what is in the water in Montego Bay? Let me correct myself. Youngster beer. Yo, the last one. 2006. The land of bigger grime. Crime. Williams. A most crime boss this. The mud fear stone crusher young enforcer. This guy was so evil. His team was beheading his victims. He was killing a shootout with police in now St. James. This is 2006. Listen, this is crazy. Now, we're going to continue. So, people, I'm going to have to do a part two because there is so much gangster in Montego Bay. We have to break up the video in two pieces. Now, look what the superintendent Ellis said. He said, once a gangster, just like Wilmot, is put on the most wanted list, it's a signal that the end is near. Yo, stick around for the part two of this video, the deadly roll call of the most wanted men in Gangsta B, aka Mobi from 1982 to 2020. Countryman, like, share, and subscribe. Peace out to the part.